kooks and she moves in her own way. BBC DJ Radio 1. Please welcome to the show lovely Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant and Carl Pilkington. Hello. Hey. One Thank person you. clapping. I, only, I, I was the lovely, wasn't I? Yeah. Or was that a communal lovely? It was a communal oh. lovely for everyone. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. No, I'm happy with that. Yeah, we're, we're all lovely. Well, G-Man, I like the G-Man. Do you remember we were in before? Yeah. He's a good yeah, guy. G-Man. One of the good guys. One of the good dudes. Yeah. I'm glad. It wasn't live though, was it? Oh, so, we had probably cut it all out, yeah. didn't he? All the good stuff. All the, yeah. Yeah. A, a lot of it was cut out. Of Is this interview. live now, Greg? We are absolutely live. So uh, the, all the stuff cut out was probably that we talking about. We hadn't. Uh, you don't play Gary Glitter anymore. There was various bits that were cut out, and yeah. um, I definitely haven't kept was... the whole interview for my personal yeah. collection. At no, home. I definitely haven't done. Why that. would that be a problem? No, no. <laughs> it's, it's true. It's just an observation. Yeah. So, Ricky, you've been on. You've been on this show. <laughs> I've got to move on. You've been on this show a million times now. Welcome back again. Oh, Steve is your second go. Yep. But but Carl, it's lovely to meet you. All right, how's it going? Really is this good. For the thank webcam, you. this um, right. So just get how round that head is. Don't get behind the microphone. <laughs> I've worked in radio, and you should never play up to what's going on in the studio. Yeah. Really? Think about the listener at home. <laughs> right. When have we ever done that or cared? And saying. when has Radio One ever done that or cared? Right. <laughs> oh, it's weird. Now. now I'm back in a radio studio. That, that used to be my old job. I feel like I should be controlling a few things here. There's a few more people in here who don't need to be in here. <laughs> How would you sort out the, uh, the G-Man show then? What do you, what, what's disappointed you so far? Is there a bed playing under us at the moment? There is a bed, I'll get yeah. rid of that. You want to get rid of it? That, I think that annoys people, that. Okay. It's yeah. almost like saying what these people are saying now isn't worth hearing, so well, it's a little true. bit of music. That's definitely true. All right, yeah. put the music back what, on. So you, you want the music on or off? No, no, off, off. Mu okay. no, let's be interesting. Let's try and be interesting. Mm. Okay. Right. What else Go then. Do? What else, what else do? did you change? Um, you haven't got a wacky name, have you? It's just Greg James. Yeah, so I get that. G-Man. 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 You did no. that with me, you called me the K-Man, I hated yeah. it. Do you not yeah. like the K-Man? Well, yeah, but you didn't like us calling you an empty-headed, shaven, chimp moron, either. <laughs> that so, hasn't stopped us. <laughs> no, you, you can't win with Carl. <laughs> anyway. Have you been to Radio 1 before, Carl? Um, I have, yeah, I was on, um, is he still here, still working here? Who? Nihal. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, he's he, still he, he was good. Oh, good, he was good. Yeah. he was all right, I met him. Lovely yeah. fella. Good. Um, a lot of changes, though, all the time in radio, you never know what you're getting. Mm. That's true. Yeah. But you've been here for a while now. Apart from Three years. Freeman, I mean, he was around for about <laughs> 120 years. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, maybe you'll be like Fluff one day. Hopefully, pot pickers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're we talking about then? Well, I don't know, I mean, the, the lovely thing... you mean you thing. don't know? Well, no, I mean, talking about your, your new DVD. But yes, we've got the DVD out of the animated um, show, taken from the uh, podcast of the same name, The Ricky Gervais Show, but everyone knows who's listened to it, and there's been a lot of people, we've had about 230 million downloads, okay? This is on TV in America and England. The DVD's coming out around the world, right? And it should be called, and I know this, it should be called The Carl Pilkington Show, <laughs> because it is the musings of a little... Roundheaded people struggle. Tonk. People struggle with my name. Do well, they? Really? Why? Just, the, just the Pilkington. They can't. They can't say it. I don't know what's wrong. It's so easy. It's spelled as it looks. Yeah. Uh, when you've just been on looks. on Dale yeah. Winton's show, he called me Nigel. Normally, it's a surname. <laughs> that's a problem. <laughs> yeah. he called me Nigel. Seriously. <laughs> what, did call, what did you call him in return? <laughs> no, well, I was a bit sort of. I was chuffed to be, you know, be meeting him because I've watched him a long time. He's yeah. a big fan. I like him to win it. I was telling him about him to win it. He wasn't that interested, though, was he? <laughs> no. It was just like he treated me like some fan. He just went, yeah, yeah, thanks for that. You should have just called him Steve Wright. Well, yeah. I liked him though. He's, he's a nice bloke, but he just annoyed me. That Greg, are you familiar with Carl? Have you heard the podcast or any? Absolutely. The I was going to say. Well, I used to listen to the show on that radio station years and years ago. When but I was how at would school. you, if you're listening, say there's someone listening at home, right? Mm. They they love you. They trust you. Yeah. They respect you. You are the demographic. Right. These mm -hmm. kids go, "Well, he's he's he like our leader." Up. Right. So, which <laughs> I'm sure is true, isn't it? So. Yeah. Um, you know, you're not in school anymore, you're not being bullied, you're on the radio, you're yeah. all powerful. You've yeah. got long trousers, I noticed. Exactly. <laughs> I so, well done, so, yeah. um, uh, how would you explain, Carl, to people listening at home who are not familiar with him? Uh, I think a, just a, a, a muse. Yeah, he is. A okay. wise sage. I can't get enough of him. I mean, myself and Stephen, we sort of probably come across as sort of like bullying media types, but it's purely to get out what I know is in Carl's head, mm. and he sees the world differently. He is a proper artist. You ask him anything you want about any subject, and it, it's remarkable. And um, I, 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 I did the podcast just to be in a room with him, asking him questions and teaching him stuff. Like a, a, a we, we feel like we're, I don't know, it's like an Eliza Doolittle. We're trying <laughs> to make him, or, or we, it, we found something sort of and thawed it out, yeah. and it was from a, 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 an era gone by. One of my favourite bits is actually on, this, I think it's the first episode of, of the series, mm. is the one... Is the, is, Not impressed, is, Carl? First episode? No, episodes one to four or five, very, very weak. 
do you think? Yeah. That's, that's Honestly, unbelievable. He's trying to it? sell this DVD. We're trying to sell a DVD around the world, and he comes out with episodes <laughs> one to four very weak. But there was a, there was a, an ideal that you had about you thought that old people should kind of die and then a child falls out of them yeah. when they can you Let's explain the that theory because yeah. it is a, it's well, a no, brilliant theory people are living too long what was the because do you ground. think that people are living too long so he thinks was... people are living too long he said because people can't die anymore because when you're dying someone suddenly sticks a new lung on no. you no lung <laughs> a new lung on loads you loads of different theories yeah and they've all been ideas. mental okay let me hear because I want to my favourite one which I don't know if it's the same one that you're talking about, mm. but the ageing backwards thing... That's it, yeah. ...is good. But then a fella nicked it, didn't he? He made a film out of it with Brad Pitt. So now everyone's going, boo, it's not your idea. Hang on, no, you weren't suggesting it as a film idea. You were suggesting we should do this in real life. Somehow no, we should make no. people grow backwards. His suggestion of a film idea, he actually got a meeting with a film company, so uh, uh, this is the first episode of Series 2, won't be out until next year, but he had a meeting with a real film company. They said, have you got any ideas for films? And he said yes, right? Yeah. And he told, the thing that he told them was the ramblings right. of a madman. Right. Okay, let's, let's hear the idea. Let's hear the idea. I, I want to hear the idea again, right. because it's Imagine this, heard it. it's Remember, brilliant. I'm going to a meeting with a film company in Soho, Right? Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, maybe they want me to play a part. Right? I haven't tried acting. I did Little Donkey, at, you know, in the Christmas play. But I was alright. I went down well on the stage. My Although acting you, job. Let him finish his Well, life. your dad was filming it, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. And he, he got away, Ricky! He got back, okay, and his dad has been filming it, right? And he listened back to his dad uh, on the camcorder, and his dad said, he looks like a right prat. <laughs> and he heard that when he got home. Yeah, but listen. Anyway, so I go into this meeting. Yeah. And I go, right, uh, I'm Carl, you called me in. They went, yeah, 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 sit down. Loads of croissants and that, you know what it's like in Soho. Yeah. Went in there, he said, uh, right, listen, got any film ideas? Now, when you're in that situation, you've got to come up with something. It's like in The Apprentice. Hmm. None of them people in The Apprentice ever go, oh, I don't know, I haven't got any ideas here. You've got to come up with something. Hmm. And I find that if you just talk stuff comes out. Mm. <laughs> okay. Because your brain's going, I've got to come up with something, so sure. just keep going. So Bits of food, <laughs> back. No, no, but just, keep, anything. just say anything for a bit. Chewing gum, yeah, he should films. be chewing, but he just fell out because he was talking, <laughs> hadn't concentrated on keeping it in. It's false Things teeth. like that, yeah. <laughs> anyway, listen to this for a film idea, yeah. and then mm. we can have a song. Brilliant. You're right. in charge now, yeah? You're so producing. What, what I'd say is, I said, I picked the actors for them, I said, Rebecca Dimorne yeah. and Clive Warren. <laughs> right, yeah. Right, so... We pointed out that Clive Warren doesn't actually exist. Well, no, he means a, Clive Owen. F Clive Warren's a former Radio 1 DJ. Brilliant. Well, yeah. he doesn't... He has a, that's just, probably why it's in my head. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. why. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rebecca well, Mornay, who Steve pointed out, has not been on television or film for 15 years. Out of anyone you so can now pick. he's pitched someone who doesn't exist and a woman who hasn't been on telly or well, film What would you do? Years. Pick someone who's in everything. Okay. Let's get Will Smith. Boring. Right, okay. So you're seeing him. Where's yeah. Rebecca? Yeah, biggest film star in the world. So what? I'm sick of him. Warren. He was on Capital film. Radio for he's a in while. Every film. Where's Rebecca? <laughs> yeah. Rebecca who? In the morning. I don't know. Who's that? Turn I'm... up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to see Dangerous Steve Pierce in the movie. <laughs> Let's have a song. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bass Hunter. <gasps> 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 